Hey y'all, welcome back. Wanted to do a quick little story time and check out this knife that I have here. Kind of an interesting uh, thing that this is the Rambler by a very good knife company. Interesting little one man shop, but man, the attention to detail on this thing. I'm going to go over that a little bit, but you know, size of it. It's like a four and a half inch handle. So pretty good little handle there. I think a three and a quarter inch blade. So it's not anything huge, but it's not small. And it's got some, uh, I think he says heftiness, some beefiness. So it's a pretty solid, hefty little knife. But when I picked this up and I started messing with it, something came to mind. And you know, that's where story time comes in, is I remember vaguely as a kid working with my grandpa you know everything from you know moving hay and cutting baling twine to working on a fence to working on a tractor to you know castrating hogs whatever just working on stuff all the time so I, I remember that as a kid but I got to thinking about it. I couldn't remember what knife he had I know he had a knife I know he used a knife I can't picture it at all but with using this knife a little bit, I could so envision this being, if my grandpa was around, I could so see this would be a knife that he would gravitate to and he would work that forever. Um, I think this is intended or, you know, in the build of it, a, a light bushcraft, you know, blade. So it has a really high or fairly let me get things to focus here. Let me move a couple things out of the way. If you'd like to see it like up against a measuring thing, let me know. I can put it up on something like that. But I really think that if you want to know the exact numbers, you can look that up pretty easy. Uh, I kind of like to show them in hand. I hope you guys know that now. Uh, just I like to kind of see as close as I can on something. This knife is used. It has already started to corrode. It's in the 80 CR high carbon steel. Uh, a lot of your higher end companies for carbon steel use this Mount, uh, Montana Knife Works. Or no, they use 51100. Winkler. Winkler uses a lot of this steel. So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty good steel. So, back to, I could see my grandpa using something like this. Uh, you know, it's not too thick, but it's thick enough. I mean, you can you can tell that it's intended for a pretty good use. The handle size is great to grab hold of. It's got a good, good purchase area. Get down a little bit so you can see. And just, you know, you could, you could work this. You could work this pretty good. So... Yeah, it's just great like that. But then you come to the fit and finish. And this is where I'm I'm baffled. I mean, the fit and finish on this is just immaculate. Look at that. I don't even, it doesn't even do any justice. He has the fit so tight on this micarta to that blade steel. It looks like there's a liner. I don't know if he has this, you know, glued with a, an epoxy that may be filling it and doing a great job that maybe he has it, it colored to a dark color or something like that could be, but again, I can't tell that, but it is just so, so darn good. I mean, just every little aspect, this thing is smooth. I mean, I'm not saying like slick, but it's just great and this is the dark green one a little bit harder to get kind of a limited run i wouldn't say that he has limited run stuff i'd say he uh he builds things with the access to the materials that he has so i'm sure if he found a decent deal or found something neat he'd build with it um like i said it's a one-man shop so it's not a not necessarily production but he does things in an efficient repeatable manner so he has quite a few blades out there uh, his name is Jacob. He actually responded back and forth uh, with email to me on uh, something because he had a, a delay with Thanksgiving 
uh, time on something, and he emailed me letting me know that, hey, uh, your night's going to be delayed, which you don't hear that anymore. Usually, you have to reach out to the company and ask them, hey, uh, why is this in-stock item not moving, or when when is it? But, yeah, he's very clear with his communication, Very just great. He let me know there was a delay. You know, it's fantastic. So that's a little bit about the company. Just a little synopsis. And, you know, when you look at the name Very Good Knife Company, it almost seems like a, a joke, uh, a play on words or whatever. But I think, you know, in the little bit that I have emailed with him and stuff, I think it's just kind of, he does have a little bit of a, soft dry sense of humor but yet still seems very honest and stuff too so i i see this almost as much literal as i do as vaguely that he is gonna put the very best that he's capable of into a knife and you can just kind of tell that the time that he took with this that spine is a good sharp spine i don't work flint just not something that i do but what I do is sometimes scrape taters or scrape some wood or scrape something down. I'll use the spine. If it's a good, nice, sharp spine like that, I'll use it as kind of a wood file at times or something like that, depending on what I'm working on. Um, I wouldn't even be opposed to breaking a piece of wire or something with that, using that as a sharp edge to kind of give it a good wiggle to get it to break off. But anyways... That, that goes back to, you know, this knife makes me think that if my grandpa had access to knives today, this would be one that he would, he'd pick up in a hurry. I, I think this would just be so fitting. But anyways, that, that's enough talk about it. Showing it off a little. I'd like you to take the time to ask any questions you like. Subscribe. Let me know you were here. Uh, leave a like. It does help the views. And I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.